Welcome to Code Station 33. I'm your instructor, Mr. McLaughlin. Today we are going to look at building our first Arduino project here in Tinkercad. So let's get started. So first thing is first, you need to sign in to Tinkercad. So we're going to click the sign in button up here and you can sign in with your Google account. That's probably the best way of doing it. Eventually we'll have you join a class uh, so that way we can share information between each other. So you can see the first screen it opens up to is the 3D design. We want the circuits, so we're going to click on circuits. And we're going to create a new circuit, so we're going to click create a new circuit. Tinkercad's going to think for a minute. And over here on the right hand side, let me make this a little bit bigger. We can see that we have our basic components, but then we also have these things down here called Arduino. So we're going to click on Arduino and you'll see that they have provided some very basic Arduino bounce um, setups for us that we could go through and start with any one of these. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Arduino. We're going to go back to all components and search for Arduino. There we go. And we see that we have our Arduino board right here. So I'm going to drag that in. There we go. So now we have our Arduino board dragged in. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to do a version of the Hello World lesson where we have the light blink on the board. The light I'm referring to is this LED light. So we're going to program the flash ROM, which is that solid state drive that exists on the Arduino board. And we're going to put in some code in there to make this LED blink on and off as soon as we add power to our device. So to do that, we're going to click on this button here that says code. Oh, now you see it went to block mode. I don't want blocks. I want text. So I'm going to click on text. And there we go. It has already put some code in there for us. And believe it or not, this is our essential Hello World program. It already put it in there for us. Uh, if it didn't for you, here it is right here in the assignment. You can copy and paste this. So I'm just going to copy and paste it just to show you. And paste it right here. So it's exactly the same. Let's go through this bit by bit to see what everything means. First, we have this void. That word means to send no information back. This word setup is a method. So we have a method here called setup that is not going to send any information back to anything that calls it, anything that activates the setup. In the setup, we're going to change the pin mode 13. So that's pin number 13 on the board as output, which means it's ready to send information out of that pin. Now the information that gets sent out is either high or low. So it's either five volts or zero volts. This is what's going to allow us to turn our pin on. So let's look at our board here. Close the code window. And here is pin 13. This is really what pin is turning on and off, turning high and low. But it turns out pin 13 is also linked to this LED light. So this LED light and pin 13 are really the same thing. So we're going to turn and set pin 13 to output. Next, we have this void, which means, again, it's not going to send any information back. And then we have a method called loop. Loop is a standard method that has to be in all of your Arduino programs. We don't always have to have setup. 
but it's helpful. But loop we have to have, otherwise nothing is going to happen. The Arduino is looking for that loop method. And it does exactly what it says. It's going to loop. It's going to repeat this over and over and over again. The first method that we're going to use, it's what's called a digital write. Now this is built into the library inside of Arduino. It's part of the Arduino coding language, which by the way, is kind of like a version of C++, just in case you're interested in. Uh, the digital write has two arguments. The first one is the pin that we want to set to whatever, high or low, and then the value, either high, which means turn on, or low, which means turn off. So turn on will send five volts out to that pin. Turn off will make it low, which means zero volts out to that pin. The next method I want to look at here is the delay method. The delay slows everything down. If we don't slow this down, remember we talked about that 16 hertz, that's 16 million cycles per second, it's going to flash so fast that the LED won't even have time to power up. It takes a little bit of time to turn the LED light on. And furthermore, we're not even going to see it turn on if we don't set the delay in a way that is visual for us. So for the human eye, at least 200 milliseconds is necessary in order to see um, what is going on there, but I'm going to change it to 500 milliseconds. That's about a half a second. So it's going to delay about a half of a second. Then it's going to turn it off and then it's going to delay again another half of a second and then it's going to loop back up and turn it on, delay, turn it off, delay, turn it on, delay, and so forth and so forth. You get the idea. So I'm going to close my code window. When I'm ready to start the simulation, the computer's gonna virtually plug this in. Now, if you were doing this on a real board, you'd have to copy the code over to the board and then plug that in. If you're interested in seeing how to do that, you can come see me and we'll talk about how to plug that in and how to copy the code directly over to the board. But that's really the only extra step. So I'm gonna hit start simulation. And look, we can see our little LED is blinking at a half second interval. If we want to stop the simulation and change the code, we can change this number to let's say 200 milliseconds just to see. Close the code window, hit start. And you can see it blinks much faster, like almost too fast for it to see that it's actually going off. So that's about the limit, 200 milliseconds for our computer. So now your task, you're going to create this version and you're going to submit it. Uh, you might want to name it right now. Mine's called something like uh, Daring Go Go Bruticus. It randomly puts a name in there. So I can change that name to uh, something that makes more sense, maybe unit one lesson six that might make more sense to change the name to um, and then you would go ahead and uh, send a copy of that link to me so i can see it now to share it you're going to click this share button and you can see that you can invite people to see the design. So you're going to invite me and it generates this link. So you're going to hit copy and you copy the link and then you're just going to post this link into the assignment so I can see your project. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.